So with Robin Williams passing away, it really got me thinking. Do you think with him being depressed and stuff that maybe he used comedy and making other people happy for his happiness? But then when he wasn't getting any more movie jobs and he went back to TV and his TV show that he was on got discontinued after one season. Do you think that maybe Robin Williams decided to take his life because he wasn't getting his enjoyment by entertaining other people which was making him happy? So when he couldn't get a job on TV or movies anymore, he felt like he wasn't needed anymore and which lowered his self-esteem, put him back into that stage and decided to take his own life. But then I also think with Aladdin, that movie was kind of, you know, about hope. Aladdin was that street rat that was poor and had no money. I have a sword. I steal. Only what I can afford. That's everything. But then he found a genie, being, you know, Robin Williams. I Ten thousand years will give you such a crick in the neck! And he became a prince in the end. Gonna love this guy, Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Ababa. The thing that I think about is I wish that Robin Williams could have found that hope just like Aladdin did in Aladdin. And what gets me is because Robin Williams was such a good comedian. And we've just been losing lately a lot of legends and really, really good actors. Tracy Morgan almost died in a car accident. Other comedian Tracy Morgan is in critical condition after a deadly car crash on the New Jersey Turnpike over the weekend. Morgan we lost Robin Williams. Hey guys, this is Brian. Really sad and tragic news that has just hit the TMZ newsroom. Robin Williams has committed suicide. According to the Marin County Sheriff's Office, authorities found Williams' body inside his home. They say he was found unresponsive. He was unconscious and not breathing, and the coroner suspects suicide due to asphyxia. Robin Williams went to rehab last month to focus on his sobriety, but we're being told alcohol was not the issue. Williams struggled with cocaine and alcohol abuse in the early 80s, but was sober for 20 years. Williams was 63. This story is and Paul Walker. What people need to do is go around and tell people how they feel about them before they're gone. Because now we got all these people on Twitter being like, Robin Williams is a legend! Yes, he is, but why couldn't we tell him that while he was still alive so we would have been able to hear it? It's always when someone dies when they want to say how much they meant to everybody. But then when they're already gone, they can't hear you. They're watching and listening from heaven. No, they cannot. In heaven, it's only good things, so they won't be able to see the bad things. So if you're struggling with losing Robin Williams, he won't be able to, he won't be able to see you. Or hear you. All I'm going to say is that Robin Williams, I saw a lot of movies with them when I was growing up, so it's really sad to see him go. But the projects that he's been in and worked on and his stand-up comedy will always live on. So there's nothing that can be taken away from that. It's already there. The only thing people can do is give his family space for losing their child or husband or dad, whatever he was to people. All that matters is that Robin Williams will always be a comedic legend. And now what you need to do is after you watch this video, tell people that you care about, tell them you love them. Because something people need to realize is life can be over in a flash. The blink of an eye. Just like that race car driver that died at like the age of 20. Because he got hit by a car. So what you need to do, and everyone in the world needs to do, is tell people that you love them and show them how much you care about them before they're gone. This has been my video for Robin Williams, and yeah. So what we've learned is that to tell people you love them before they're gone. Actually, after looking into it, I found out that Robin Williams struggled with bipolar disorder so he could go from really happy to really sad, so he died because of bipolar disorder because he got in one of the really low stages because he had two 
movie jobs up on the way, so I was incorrect. It's just because he wasn't healthy mentally and never received help for it because he knew he would go all over the media like we're doing right now. So I'm sorry, Robin Williams. The world has failed you.